Now I don't want too much tension here. Just enough to keep this line here a little bit taut, just a little bit taut. Anyway, I think we may as well cut this off. Now sometimes these scissors will work good and sometimes they won't. If I kind of squeeze them together as I'm cutting, they usually nip. Okay. Now we'll add our weight. There we go. Now I have to remember, we're going to have five lines across here. So I'm going to just sort of eyeball it. And I think what I'll do is, I'll put one, like right about there. Then I'll put one right about here. Then I'll put one in the middle. And then the remaining two, I'll just sort of split the difference. And that way it should look fairly, uh, you might say, symmetrical. Now, maybe this would do better if I went right over. I wonder if I should go from the... No, not like that. Okay, and I'll see if I can untangle this. Okay, my plan is... Where's my tweezers here? Okay, now maybe if I go over from the inside to the outside. And I better just double check and make sure when I dropped it there that I didn't get it tangled up and it's crossing another line because once it's glued into place then... Now it looks okay. This is the line in question right here, and I don't see it chafing against anything else that it's not supposed to. Oh, uh, those of you who started watching yesterday's episode uh, right on time and would have noticed it wasn't in high definition for a while, well, that was my fault again. I waited too long to start the upload. As I've mentioned before, I find that if I start my upload oh, around uh, 2 in the afternoon, usually it's done in about less than an hour, depending on how, thing, how long it is, and then that gives YouTube a lot, lots of time to process it all the way into high definition. So it seems that later in the afternoon YouTube gets bogged down. Anyway, enough about that. Let's see if we can get a little tiny bit of... Uh, I think that's a good spot, or should it be maybe a little bit more to the right yet? Okay, so there's going to be one there, one there, one there. Maybe it should be just a little bit more to the right. I hope that's not too far to the right. All right. Now, it, it's too late to do anything about this now, but wouldn't it maybe have been better to have had this line here that has the blue tack on the end of it go all the way back down and have two, have two lines going, you know, like a, a flagpole has two lines. There's one going up and one going down. I don't know. Should have thought of that before. Wonder if I should do that for the rest. Although the instructions just call for one line. Maybe if we get too many lines going up and down here, it's going to look cluttered. Whereas like this, it's not too bad. All right, I think we're probably dried here, or cured. I think we're probably safe to try and cut that off. And for goodness sakes, Ron, don't cut off this. Okay, now this is where precision screwdrivers would be so nice. I'm sitting here listening to myself right now. Precision screwdrivers? I meant precision 
scissors. Once again, I gotta tell you, I can't work and talk at the same time. Now, I gotta be careful now, don't cut that line. I mean, the wrong line. Yet I want it to be, if I could cut it there, what would happen? I want to cut it close enough. Ah, there. Um, well, there's a little bit of a thing up there, but well, anybody sees that and asks what that is, it's the pulley system for, you know, one rope goes up, one rope goes down. It's got to be a pulley up there, right? Now, I realize your perspective is not all that great. I'm just wondering if I was to squeeze this together. Yeah, it kind of closed it up, didn't it? Now, we were actually looking right up here before. And uh, when you look at this at normal view, which is about the way you're seeing it right now, you don't even notice that, you know, that that's not a pulley or anything else. It just looks like a little, little blob of something. I don't think I need to squeeze it anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, uh, put the other four lines on. There's no use, uh, uh, you know, showing it being done because I'm probably going to do it exactly the same way I did this one right here. And uh, I think we got this about the right tension. I know it kind of looks like uh, it's not, but, you know, because it kind of buckles there, but it stretches and it goes back to normal. So, yeah. I am wondering, does anybody else have one of these Tormac sharpeners and it makes this loud humming sound? It almost sounds as though I've got a 120 volt motor and accidentally hooked it up to 240. Yeah, that's the noise it would make before it blew the fuse. Now don't ask me how I know that. Anyway, I'm trying to reshape my scissors here so that they're just a little bit uh, better for nipping off the easy line. At least that's the plan. tested these yet so I don't know if I made it better or if I made it worse but my thinking is if I can get it so that the last um, you know two three millimeters from the tip are sharp um, let's turn it over here see if we can wasting more time here aren't we maybe I should be putting the macro lens on anyway I'm not I'm not worried about up here Now, my plan is to have only the very last millimeter or so nip. Um, It looks to me like the very tip is touching where it's supposed to. I haven't tried it yet. This is going to be the first time. Looking at it closely now in editing, I can see that perhaps if I was to shorten the tip about another millimeter, or half a millimeter, it might be even a little better. We'll do that later, maybe. Now, we just want to, just want to nip it at the very end. Now, did it nip? Yeah, it did. Okay, so I guess I uh, I was lucky. I, I did it right. I have done just a little bit more reshaping and uh, grinding, you might say, using 1000 grit sandpaper mainly. And I do believe I've got the tips a little bit better than they were before. Um, I think it's a little better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put up those other four lines 
and uh, yeah, and then try it out for real. Now I know I had said I wasn't going to show putting these lines on. I've only put two on here. This is the third one, and when I was doing the second one, uh, which is this one right here that the needle's pushing against. Um, I tried something different. Instead of dipping the end of the line into the CA glue, I put a little tiny bit of CA glue in the, you know, just in the in the uh, on the side there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to try and I want to fasten it in between these two. So I think if I put a little bit of CA right there, maybe uh, maybe I can do this on camera and you can see me doing it. Now if I can let go of it when it's in the right place. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. I have just CA'd this last line right here. And uh, I almost made a mistake. I had this line originally on the outside of this line here that represents a guy wire and I didn't notice it was actually chafing up against it right here. That would have been too bad because I'd have had to have, you know, put a whole new line on. Um, anyway, they're all on now. We'll just let all of this cure really well, especially this one. And uh, then we'll try out our scissors and nip these extra pieces off here. Gotta quit poking. Okay, now this one here we've already nipped off. I'm having trouble seeing it for some reason. I want to nip this as short as possible. Okay, oops, that's not it. Can't get in there. I'm going to have to uh, try and reposition a little bit better here. just can't get it. What's wrong today? There. It's a little longer than I'd wanted. Let's see if this one will go better. Oops. way too long. Maybe I can get another grab on it. Whoops! Almost nipped off the whole thing there. That would not be good. Maybe if I come in more like this. It looks as though my scissors aren't cutting here, but actually they did. They cut every time I intended for them to cut. All this fooling around was trying to get it in exactly the right position before I squeezed the scissor. But when I did, it cut every time. There, that one went better. All right, now if we take our tweezers and, uh, you know, squeeze these down a little bit, 
Um, I know we can see them, at least I can see them quite clear, that it looks like little hooks going over top of the, uh, the line that runs horizontal. Anyway, we got them. Okay, I'm not going to do the super macro thing. We'll just squeeze these here. One. Two. Three. Four. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that hardened CA glue would bend and stay in shape, but it kind of does. Okay, that looks better. Anyway, I think we're going to call it quits for today, and I'll get this uploaded so that you'll be able to watch it in high def. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.